Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Chris. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? What's up, Sally? What's up? Okay, so we're, we're basically two away from, I guess, 1,600 of the Everything Show. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that tonight, obviously. Um, All right. So this is 1599. So let's talk about Star Trek IV first. I've read a lot of articles today, Chris. And I yeah. know you sent it to me. Um, from what I gather from these articles, Chris Pine was signed before even Star Trek Beyond was done in the box office. They re-signed him with Zachary Quinto and all that stuff, right? They re-signed everybody. Um, the only person who wasn't signed was Chris Hemsworth. Now, somebody new took over Paramount. And they wanted to lower the budget, and they wanted the actors, despite being signed, to take a pay cut. Now, in Chris Pine's case, he's done a lot of movies lately that he's done massive amount of money, like Wonder Woman and all that. So that's like an insult. Like, that it's not his fault if they gave him a bad script or whatever. So he's like, no, I'm, we're signed. I want to film. And they won't do it. So it's like, well, I guess we're done. Now, with Chris Hemsworth, they want to lowball him too. And he's like, look, I got Thor. I got the Men in Black franchise. I'm doing all these movies. No. So I really have a problem with this because I kind of blame J.J. Abrams paramount everybody because the one problem i have with jj abrams verse with star trek is his favorite character is spock and it was always this whole universe was spock 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 old spock travels back in time old spock talks to kirk young spock old spock yeah whatever so to me in jj abrams eyes Anything to make spock the main character maybe it's like not a big loss which i don't think that's the case um, I don't know if they're going to kill them off because it's a different universe, like Kirk, and just have Spock do it. I mean, they may do that, but to recast would be insane, especially since you can't really – the whole script is revolving around them going back in time, preventing Kirk, like basically fixing the universe or whatever, and preventing his father from dying and restoring the timeline to its original – form where his father was alive and he was alive and he was in Starfleet earlier than now the new timeline later. So I have a problem with this and I think it's a shame that they didn't go that extra mile to make sure that he was signed in Chris Hemsworth. What do you have to say, Chris? So, yeah, I mean, it, it's no secret that I'm not really a huge, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, a huge Star Trek fan. But when I saw this today, I was kind of surprised because I had heard that this was basically going forward and that there, there, there didn't seem to be any, like anything hindering this. Yeah. And, and then I kind of, I saw this article today and it was like, Oh no, it's done. Yeah. And I was like, well, that was fast. What the, the hell? The entire happened? movie's done. Yeah. I mean, they were, they weren't even saying like, Oh, it's on hold. They're like, no, it's done. It's gone. It's yeah. not coming out. And it was like, what, what the hell happened? Like, you what? can't have a movie without Kirk, and you especially can't have a time travel movie where you're fixing the universe when you can't have Chris Hemsworth either because he was in the first one as the father of Kirk. Yeah. So it, the whole script is out the window. It's garbage. You can't do it. It's not going to be believable. People are going to know what they look like. They're, gonna, they're trying to resemble the past. They're trying to have their hairs look a certain way. Their styles look a certain way. They're trying to you know, fix the universe back to the prime universe. See, that's the goal. The goal is yeah. somehow they're going to show that the universe is restored because now Picard's going to be appearing in CBS All Access that the prime universe is still around. Now, of course, they don't need to show that it's fixed. They can just say it's multiple timelines. But they wanted to do this movie where they go back in time, they prevent the Romulans from altering time, and they prevent the father from dying, this whole mess. And that was this big thing that J.J. Abrams had this script right after Beyond was out. So if you don't have Christopher Pong, you don't have Chris Hemsworth, you're done. That's it. 
and and you know Chekhov died too, the actor, right? So I don't know what to say, right? I guess that's it. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's 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 not a good situation. Now Quentin Tarantino's movie is years away. Which means yeah. we're not gonna have Star Trek movie for years, so I I think maybe you know it's a, it's a shame now because everybody else is signed. So what do you do? Do you pay them? Do you not pay them? I mean, you know. I think that's the point of a lot of this is so that they don't have to pay them. But they're gonna have to pay them. I think I I know I but what I think I think they're trying to find a way not to. Yeah, and they're not gonna. They're not gonna. They're gonna have to pay. They're gonna have to pay Chris Pine. Because they signed him. They made a big announcement before the movie was even out. Remember, Chris? They're like, oh, we're yeah. definitely going ahead. Yeah, okay, great job. Now you're trying to cut his pay. All right, well, that's that. that. This, he's apparently going to be. Wonder Woman 2. He's apparently going to be in the next Wonder Woman movie. So, yeah, I mean. And other movies, he, too. He really heard. doesn't need this. No. Yeah. And I, I'm sorry, but like all the other actors, they don't need it either. I mean, Simon Pegg is doing a movie with Nick Frost. Slaughterhouse um, School or something. They're, they're, they're teaming up again. They're doing their movies. Um, and they're versatile. They do everything. Uh, Zoe's doing, you know, Avengers 4. You know, Guardians of Galaxy 3. Avatar. Yep. No. Um, you know, so that's basically... And then Zachary Quinto, I mean, he's got stuff he's doing too. And he was an American Horror Story also. He's going to be returning probably to... The new season, I guess. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. They all have jobs. Um, now, let's get back. Let's get into these other thing. Um, James Gunn. Mm-hmm. How you doing, Vaughn? I'm sorry. How you doing, Vaughn? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Uh, now, Chris, why don't you talk first? Because I'm going to start rambling. So, Well, I mean, no, like short and sweet, um, from what I'm hearing, I've I've heard two different stories now. One of them I believe, one of them I don't believe. Right. Uh, The one that I've heard is that apparently DC is interested in getting him. Right. To potentially run the whole thing. Yes, which, who did cast on that already? We did. Saying that that's probably going to happen. That's the one I don't believe. Really? Yeah, I don't think. Oh, I don't know about that. The other one that I, the, the other one that I do believe is that Marvel is apparently trying to get him back. Well, can I just jump in now? The, the thing is, they shouldn't have fired him from tweets 11 years ago before he was an employee of Disney. He was a totally different person. It was over a decade ago. He evolved. He changed. He's whatever. Some people evolve. He evolved, right? It was just a tweets, tweets, not actions, right? Yeah. They fired him. Everybody went to bat for him. Everybody, which embarrassed the crap out of Disney, right? Even Batista went even above and beyond, right? He, Actors. He lost a little bit, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Then they got Sony to fire him from Bloodborne movie, which is the beginning of the black balling of James Gunn. Mm-hmm. Now, I understand Disney is all powerful now almost a monopoly, which this is why the government doesn't want people to become a monopoly because yeah, then they yeah. become all powerful evil and doing stupid shit and thinking they could control everything. Like they're trying to control the Oscars where they force the Oscars to create two new categories, which that's another subject. ABC is Disney. Disney did not mm-hmm. But anyway, so that way they could always win because their movies are blockbusters. So the most popular, the most blockbuster movie, they'll have an Oscar every damn year. But anyway, the blackballing didn't work because DCEU or whatever you want to call it, the DC universe is in shambles. They have no idea, no direction, no every every freaking week. It's like, oh, we're going to do Harley Quinn 1, 2, and 3. Oh, we're going to do Joker 1 and 2. Oh, we're going to do Suicide Squad. Oh, we're going to do Batman versus Joker. Oh, we're going to do the Red Hood. Oh, we're going to do this. They're all over the place. There's no direction. There's no control. There's nobody that's controlling the universe. They need stability. Okay? And why not benefit from Disney's mistake? So the moment that they saw 
that everybody wants James Gunn. Okay? And they even made it. They even put these things out there that they weren't going to do the script for Guardians 3. They weren't going to do the script for Guardians 3. Then it became, wait a minute. He's going to go do DC. He's going to do this. He's gonna, we can't have this. So then you hear these stupid stories on, oh, well, if we have him do Guardians 3, if we use the script and not have him direct, then he's tied to the company till 2021. So he can't do shit which is weird stories, okay? Then they're like, oh, well, we're going to make him direct another movie. Now, that's not freaking cool. He wants to do Guardians. They don't want him to go anywhere. And then you're hearing the stories, well, he wasn't actually fired because they have to negotiate a payout, which they're supposed to pay him out $15 million, and then he's cut loose. So technically, he's still, he's not fired. And they don't want to look like idiots but they don't want to lose him. Now Marvel's stepping into mm -hmm. the picture, and Marvel's like, we want him. And now Disney's like, whoa, wait a minute, we own you. So they're battling now. Their own company's battling each other because they're like, enough of this nonsense. We don't need this. Put him in Guardians and let's go. But they're like battling now. So this is the chaos that we have. The, the, the sad part is all this talk is going on, meaning that they are hypocrites. It is all bullshit, and he shouldn't have been fired in the first place. That's my take on it. What do you guys say? I agree. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing him do a, you know, Green Lantern Corps movie. That that'd be good. I mean, what do they care if they fired him? Let him go. Mm -hmm. Let him go. Why are you so concerned about how he's going to benefit some other company? Then don't let him go then. But you can't hold on to people. And you can't be grimy. And you can be like, well, if we use the script, he can't go anywhere. That's disgusting. He should tell them to go if, F off and leave. If, uh, if DC wants him, then he has the right to go to DC. They probably was waiting for him anyway. They, he can't go anywhere. Because they got to sign the release. And they're not doing oh, it. Why? They're not doing it. Okay, they're, so, they're negotiating for days. Because he's like, I so, got jobs. I want to go. So he's being offered other jobs. But yet, Marvel, or well, not Marvel, but Disney don't want to release him. So that tells me that you still want him to work on You want to know why he's part. not released? Because it's tweet, why? tweet. There's, there was no, they didn't sign a paper he's fired. They're all tweeting, oh, we're not, we can't recognize him with our company anymore. But nobody signed a paper that he's fired. They all just talk to the media like a bunch of idiots like he tweeted. It's all tweets. It doesn't exist. He wasn't fired. So they didn't even, they were, they, they didn't even get about signing the papers. Good so he's, in, he's still technically a Disney employee. That's the, that's the yeah. conundrum now. That's why he can't accept a job. The only job they allowed him to have was the Bloodborne because of, because of the relationship between Sony and Marvel. And they said, mm -hmm. yeah, all right, go ahead. But they, they screwed it. So they tried to blackball him, and they, they lost. They look like idiots. Yeah. So they yeah. won't release him. That's the whole point. They won't release him. But they don't know what to do with him. So they this is what gets that. me angry. Just, just let him do Guardians. Shoot. I mean, come on. Unless they they scared of being hypocrites or something like that. But then you, you make it like he can't be with kids. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You let him go. They kidding? want him. They, yeah. They, they, we can't, can't have him do a kids movie. What are, what are you going to give him to do? Deadpool 3? Like, come on, man. So, you know what? DC will take him or somebody else will take him. Somebody's going to take him. It's because yeah. if you have every single actor and their mother basically saying, we want to work with him, he's great. Disney's word is shit mm -hmm. right now. Shit. Yeah. Nobody's listening to Disney right now. So they yeah. lost. I don't and know, Disney, Chris. Yeah. Go okay, ahead, Vaughn. No, I was about to say, I said, well, Disney, Disney is a joke anyway. So, I mean, I mean, like I said, they should have something in antitrust laws that, that kind of checks and balance corporations like Disney. If you don't want that at the um the person you work for, he should have been terminated and should have been let go. Don't don't hold that's see that that goes into some ruddy waters um legally. 
because he's now he can't you have blocked him from other jobs because he's still attached to you but yes. yet you don't want to release him so i mean he, he can sue y'all for that that's another thing that's why they're negotiating every day yeah and and they're just sitting down at tables and marvel's getting involved but again I don't know what exactly is happening. I'm throwing my two cents in there because I'm angry at the way you're treating him. Chris, what do you have to say? Yeah. Well, the, the, this is yeah. the thing I, I just want to bring up is that Disney is nowhere near becoming a monopoly because to become a monopoly, you would have to, like, really, you, you can't have any competition. So right. Okay. They're not close. There, there, there's no overarching, like, tyrannical corporation thing going on here. All so right. What, what, what they're doing is they're trying to figure out the best way – to release him because that's that's a lot of money that they would have to pay him. Yeah. And, and now and now that they kind of have this almost like a mutiny in the Guardians of the Galaxy cast, mm -hmm. they're yeah. like, okay, maybe this wasn't the best course of action. Maybe we shouldn't let him go, but we have to figure out a way to save face because if we want if we want to stay here, you know, with them, um how do we go about this without, you know, just doing a 180 and being like, yeah, we hired him back. Because. And Marvel's against them too, though. But wait, yeah. hold on. Here, here's my thing, though. All these stories about these other companies saying, oh, we want him, this is all unsubstantiated. We don't know for sure if, the, if this is actually true. That's why I'm saying I don't believe the DC thing because that kind of popped up out of nowhere. And mm -hmm. to me, it sounds like something that, someone would put out there just because this story has something you know you want to know why i think it's true because warner brothers didn't come out and say it's not true yeah but they didn't say it was true either because they, you want to know they, why they're, there's a clause in the disney contract that they can't even go near him while he's a no, disney know, employee but, they can't even ask but him. this but this but this is the thing though as of right now, they have their movies planned for the next few years. As, as much of a mess as it is, yeah, they, they have an idea of what they want to do. To me, it doesn't make any sense that they would be like, oh, scrap everything, James Gunn is free. It, I, didn't that, say, I didn't say they were going to scrap everything. I know, but... I but, said but, that whatever or, movie they, that they have planned when he takes over would be something else. That, well, but that's this, not what they said, though. They said that they were trying to hire him to run the whole damn thing. Okay. Well, and oh. I don't believe that. Oh at all. no, 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 that, no. That to me sounds like a, like like someone's dream. Like oh, but Marvel that. is believing it though. I don't think they are. Or Disney's believing response, it. But we don't have a response from them though. That's so true. I, it, it, again, we have to be really careful about the things that that you know we're saying. Oh, okay. this is what. It, his, it, his, this is my opinion. When I'm talking, it's my opinion. So don't uh, take no, it as I'm about yeah. That. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm, saying, here's I'm a, here's a, trying, trying to put the idea right. out there that it's, it's, you know, I'm sorry, Bon. I think there's a delay on my end. But, okay, yeah. uh, tr but, but when, when, when these stories come out, that's like DC is doing this. If, if, if you, if you like kind of step back and look at it, it's like, don't think that's necessarily how that would work, but right. Like, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it is true. Maybe maybe this is stranger things have happened. So That's maybe true. maybe they heard he was let go, and James they were Gunn. like, "Fucking so sign him," <laughs> you know, but, pardon my language. But you know. But here's know. here's a, here's an example of this that that I applied Adult Swim for. Dan Harmon was accused of something similar with um, a video. Adult Swim basically said, F you, we keeping him because, you know, it was done years ago. Mm -hmm. This is not new. Even though it's very offensive, but they understand that they work with comedians and writers that do this type of stuff. That's basically their whole surrealist comedy, basically, mm -hmm. is to incite a reaction with it from the people. So what should have happened is what Adult Swim did with Dan Harmon. They reviewed it. I'm sure they had legal team coming out, even though they have something bigger brewing that um, I, I wouldn't put no stock in. The man is crazy. Uh, but anyway, uh, what they did with Dan Harmon, they said, "Hey, we we still we're not finna fire him from Rick and Morty. You still we still gonna go with him because it was done years ago." They understand that 
certain people do this edge core stuff to get a incite a reaction. This and that's what's probably what James Gunn was doing because edge core was really mm-hmm. popular back then. I mean, um, they tried to cite reaction out of the public, good or bad. That's the basis of edge core. So if they would have did it from that perspective, Disney, because I don't think Disney understands that type of comedy, the surrealist comedy, the um, anti-comedy, the edge core stuff. I don't think they really understand what that entails. So even though there was horrible fucking treats, I, I think that Disney should have had like, you know, put them in some type of class or sensitivity class or Probationary something. Probationary period. Yeah, a probationary period while they investigate it. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure that was edge court. That wasn't something that he actually would go out and do. Yeah. yeah. And, that's, and that's, a, that's a comment also on the fact that we live in a day and age that we don't, we cannot tell what's comedy and what's not comedy. And that's just a fucking shame. Somebody's not going to actually go out there and do half the stuff on no, the No, no, they're not. You know, and that, you know, that's the way we live in. And once again, I'm going to say, this is why you have to watch what you say on those tweets, because you have companies now tracking your every movement now. I saw stuff on Twitter that people won't um, get a tuition or something if they if they side Republican or Democrat or if mm-hmm. they if they follow people, which is so yeah. stupid. We've become so overly offended by things nowadays. Right. That it's it, it's stupid. Which we, well, I don't want to get off topic because I'm going to go into topic wonders, which yeah. that we could talk about to our hearts content over there. But um, the James Gunn thing, I'm just going to close my part and say that I would rehire him back. Same I here. would just, you know what, as a company, you're, you're allowed to make mistakes and, and they respect you if you just admit stuff. And the fact so that you know what, they maybe jump the gun in firing God, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, the fact that look at how much, uh, granted, if it's found out years later that he actually did this stuff, fine. But I don't, still there. Yeah, but I don't, I don't he didn't do any of that shit. Him. But nonetheless, the fact that he's proved himself 100, over 100% on bringing them money they should have. He made much. them so much money, and it's the sad part is so much people money. out there and think because he tweets it, he did it, and a lot mm-hmm. of people on Facebook and different things are like, "Oh, he does these things to kids," and no, he yeah. doesn't. He just tweet no. for crying out loud. No, it's just this witch hunt bullshit that's going yeah. on that needs and to stop. And stopped. nobody's gonna watch. Nobody that says that stuff is probably gonna watch watch the Guardians anyway, no. or any of this yeah. stuff. They're just bullshit. Yeah. But anyway, it's called, it's called being a shit disturber is what this dude yeah. did. And he knew full well that Disney may or may not do something. So he threw, so he threw pretty much fire. That guy just looks to destroy people that put all that yeah. stuff out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he does. He's searching, he's searching, trying yeah. to destroy. Because he almost, he, uh, him, some other dude, almost a comedian that I follow is on a list, yeah. which it, it didn't gain no traction because he went off on them. But I mean, well, Sally, what's your opinion? They, that's James what they do. Trump. They try to destroy careers, which should be illegal as hell. Yeah. I mean, it, it was years ago. I mean, who hasn't said or done something stupid years ago? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, come on. Yeah. You're a diff- <laughs> different person 11 years ago. I mean, yeah. you know, things that change. <laughs> what else, Chris? I know I don't want to like just stick, stick on I know you got a lot of other stuff to talk about, too. So, yeah, I, I wanted to ask, because I, I remember you, you sent me this, and I, I had seen this a little while ago. Um, so they cut out, like, almost an hour from The Predator. 45 minutes. Yeah. And and James almost by any chance? They, yeah, they apparently removed that whole character. Oh. Or most of it. See, so, yeah, the situation is, you're trying to bring The Predator franchise back, right? You have a big actor. You know, Mm -hmm. like you're lucky to have him, you know. All right. Even if the part isn't whatever, you don't cut him out. No. You find a way to keep him in there because you want the recognition and you have somebody reputable in your Predator movie, you know. You got Miami Vice and Battlestar Galactica remake. We got this thing like that. The guy did some reshoots because it was terrible, right? 
So he reshot the whole, right? I think it was the third half. Yeah. Because it sucked. Oh. Then he decides, oh, we should film at night and scrap that whole part of the movie they already filmed. Oh, so he went back and he filmed at night and all the dialogue and he restructured the movie and everything and to be at night. Changed the, the you know how much millions post? of dollars they spent on that. But that's not it, though. So you did two sets of reshoots. Now you cut 45 minutes from the movie. What? This ain't Lord of the Rings, where if you cut 45 minutes from Lord of the Rings, you wouldn't notice it. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, like, holy crap. Yeah. That's a lot of footage. Mm-hmm. It's not every day. They're like, yeah, we caught 45. Nobody caught 45 minutes. Go to watch the movie. The only thing you do is you get the beginning credits, and it's over. Chris, what the hell was in that 45 minutes? <laughs> so this is, my, this is my theory, and I don't know if this is correct. I might be completely wrong. I apologize if I am, but this is what I think happened. I think those parts that they cut – were heavy with dialogue and somebody watched it and they were like, there's too much dialogue in this movie. We have to replace it with predator action scenes or else our target audience is not going to like this movie. Yeah. So they replaced it with, I'm not, I'm not going to say the whole 45 minutes is predator action scenes. Cause that would be ridiculous. Although if somebody told me that the whole 45 minutes they replaced was, was nothing but predator action scenes, at this point, I'd probably be like, that sounds about right. But I really don't know what – I. first of all, I didn't even know this guy was in the movie. I know this actor, and I, I like him a lot. Mm -hmm. And now that I know that he was in the movie, but he's not anymore, that's kind of disappointing. I think he's glimpsed in the trailer. I have to go back and look. But, I, again, and this isn't even, like, the craziest thing about the Predator that we have to talk about because, uh, yeah, but – the, the, I don't know what they're replacing this 45 minutes with. They're you know, not replacing the 45 minutes. Well, okay, they just, but this, they're just cutting it. But, but no, but they can't do that if it makes the movie go down to like a 45 minute movie. So mm. they got to replace something. So, like, I mean, so that's a third set of reshoots. And it, you know, it comes out in a couple no, weeks, no, right? No, no, no. no I, I think they have extra footage that they can put yeah, in. Yeah, they're just going to fill that void. More than you need. It usually. comes out in a couple of weeks. I know, but we don't know when this was done. That's the thing. They said that it was cut, but they never said when. So, at least I didn't see that they said when. But I don't know. The 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 stranger thing is that that's another series. Yeah, but I saw what this predator dog that's in this movie is supposed to look like, and those reports that we heard a long time ago were true. It's huh. actually a like a dog with a predator head. Oh. No. I saw, I saw the Funko yeah. pop of it, which I know is a super deformed figure, so you can't get the, the best detail out of it. But it's literally what they said in that script. So it's like it's a real dog, though? Yeah. Did they take a real it's not, dog? It's not a dog from our planet. It's a, it's dog a CGI? Dog. Yes. It's, it's an okay. alien. It's an alien from their planet, but it, it's like a dog that has a predator head. But and that's I was like, ridiculous. And so and so and too. Wait, wait, we don't wait, have wait, dogs with human heads. Hold on, wait. Apparently, if the if the, if, if the script oh. is true, <laughs> if the it. script is true, this predator dog has brain damage. That's because the predator locked it in the ship without air condition that whole time. <laughs> and Chris points and screw this enterprise. I gotta rescue that pup. That's what happened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> you guys are losing your minds. You really are. <laughs> I still got it at least. 
But can, uh, can we talk? Can we talk about how this is going to be worse than Alien Covenant? Yes. Yeah. We're trying to get it back. <laughs> what you did, Shane Black? You've driven them crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now the sanest person on this show. <laughs> I mean, throw the freaking dog a bone here for crying out loud. He tried, but the doors were locked. Jesus. <laughs> oh, and the sad thing is, it was a convertible and the top was down. <laughs> If that predator wasn't too busy tweeting, none of this would have happened. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I know, I lost it. We lost control. Just like Shane, Shane Black lost control of the Predator movie. Oh, we lost control. Sorry, sorry, Quinn. So no, it's my fault. <laughs> I, guess totally. it's just me. I guess it's just me and the people in the comments now. <laughs> it's, it's my fault. <laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? So down wait, here? please tell me that yeah, this. Please tell Chris. Please tell me there's a scene where the kid screws up and sends a message to the predator, like "f you" or something, and then the whole government they're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> All the predators come yes, with their brain yeah, damaged dogs. Christmas. Well, that's apparently the plot of the movie. Shit. Oh jeez. No. Oh, oh yeah. man, what the hell is going on in this world today? Jordan Peele, get them out! <laughs> get them out! <laughs> get out! Have, we Your have, buddy's in there. You should appear in there too. No. Get, get, get us! Get out! I'm just hoping that this movie turns out to be just like mildly entertaining. At this how point. can it be? Just I like she got a laugh track. You know what's going to happen? The Predator is going to be kicking the shit out of the humans. I've seen the trailer. Oh, they're going to be fighting each other. Well, listen, listen. And then this big Predator comes out of nowhere. And then the Predator's like, oh, shit. And then the Predator looks at the human. The human looks at the Predator. The Predator looks at the Super Predator. The human looks at the Super Predator. They look at each other. They're like, listen, you and me, let's team up against this mother. And that's what's going to happen. I just hope that Arnold shows up out of nowhere. And he's he's like, not. The damn Predator. And you know, yeah. Get out! Get out! Get to the chopper! Get out! No, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. It's kind He's of. He's not in it. You know what I? You know what he I? He insulted the him. You know that guy what? lied. He was supposed to be a big part of that movie, and then they had lunch. He's like, "Yeah, could you be in there for five minutes, uh, like five seconds?" And he's like, "No." You know what I hope the big plot twist of this movie is? David that created he, the premise. No, well, I mean, at this point, but the um. The, the the super predator. I hope that they say that the super predator is actually Dutch turned into a predator. Because why not at this point? Wait, what Think if what if what if the predator were the dogs? <coughs> and then David evolved the dogs into the predator? Because like somebody had to evolve the dog. If the dog has a predator face, then the predator were dogs. Sure. Whoopi Why Goldberg's not? gonna be in this movie? How could the Predator do- What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> predator yeah. Sister Act? What? No. <laughs> fucking gone. We're fucking gone. We lost control. Jumping Jack Predator! <laughs> Burglar <laughs> Predator. I stole your dog and I took your shit too. No. So this is what it's like in the pilot seat. I don't know how to fly this plane. Oh, Jesus. Ghost Predator. Oh, all right, stop. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. I don't need to see a Predator come through a wall and be like, I'm the spirit of the first Predator that died in Predator, here to save the franchise. No. And then he'd be making that a pottery wheel. Just, yeah, that's why I was about to close. <laughs> gets about a little close with uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <okay>. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if you learned anything in this cast, it's make sure that dog has water 
and the air conditioner on in the car, even in intergalactic space. I'm going to make a recommendation that in the title of this one, you put an asterisk in it and say, may need Tylenol and or <laughs> at scan after you finish watching it. Right. I'll put it in the description. You, you write it out for me. You write it out for me in Messenger. I'll copy and paste it. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> and now we're going to go on to the anniversary number of 1600 Everything Show, which this oh, is now it makes sense. Now you, we're going to go into it. You guys have been drinking tonight. That's why you're all like this. Yeah. Water. Yeah. <laughs> Water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, something's in the water. Drinking. It's got a New York New York base. But yeah. It's got a New York base. All right. We'll be back. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>